Welcome to Brent's Anime Recommendation Corner, where I talk about anime that I love. I love Coyote Ragtime Show. Uh, this is one of those anime that kind of came out of nowhere, showed up, some people watched it, people were like, oh, this is kind of cool, and then it completely d disappeared. It died. No one watched it. But I happen to really enjoy it. Um, if you like... Um, so, I've heard it described as kind of the poor man's cowboy bebop. That's unfair. But... It is about a group of uh, con men in a science fiction future who are going after their, their, the last big score, right? You know, that classic trope of, okay, well, not con men, but like burglars and, and you know, ne'er-do-wells. And they're going after that one big, that one last score um, to find this one big treasure and break this one big treasure out of a, a, a bank in space. Um, Ocean's Eleven. Ocean's Eleven sci-fi, basically, is, is the idea. Um, Fun cast of characters, um, very much a whole variety of, of people, um, as well as lolis with machine guns. What's not to like, right? <laughs> um, and I'm like, I'm not kidding. Like, there's, that's that is that is a thing in this show. Um, the the, wow. the the three little girls with machine guns. Um, yeah, it's 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 wild and it's great um, because you have the the main characters who are you know cooks with a heart of gold. Right, yeah, they're yeah, they're bank robbers, but they would never really hurt anybody, so it's fine. Um, and then you have uh, the um, uh, uh, the woman who's who's going after them, the very serious uh, uh, you know detective who's going after them, um, and um, just all the adventures they have, um, trying to 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 track them down, um, and the kind of noir feel of the overall show. Uh, you know, it's it's clearly uh, evoking that. I also appreciate the detective's um, uh, assistant is basically Mahoshi from Tenchi Moyo. That's fun. Um, and just then the fact that they throw in the, um, the the fact that there are a bunch of people, people, also looking for these folks um, who all happen to be um, uh, this organization who sends off 12 android battle maids who like fire who all have their different things of like guns or grenades or whatever that they fire at the yeah it's wacky um and great fun for that um because it's just wow. completely ridiculous um again you know poor man's cowboy bebop bebop could be kind of weird and wild and wacky at times this kind of has that vibe um, I, I am not saying it is of the quality of Cowboy Bebop at all. I am not uh -huh. saying you're going to have that kind of experience. Um, <laughs> but the overall kind of concept, the overall kind of premise is in a similar kind of universe, if you will, so similar kind of concept. Um, and I just found it really fun. Um, I also really appreciate that the fact that, I don't know if it's a spoiler to say, that the, um, they're doing all of this because of the adopted little girl um, who has come into their lives. Um, they're basically doing it all for her. There's a whole thing. Um, and I'm not going to tell you anything about that, but she is kind of the key to the whole story in a very anime way. Um, but also there's a, a wonderful kind of heart to the whole storyline as a result of that, of her belonging to this group of, of odd characters. Um, so again, a lot of fun, a lot of, of ridiculousness, um, and uh, just a really, you know, crooks of the heart of gold going after the final big score uh, in space. It and what studio did it? And I, what else did they do? I do not know, um, but oh. the anime is called Coyote Ragtime Show. Okay. So um, just, a, you know, an anime I like.